Teachers have always understood the importance of differentiating instruction. Uh, differentiated instruction is the process of tailoring what's being taught and assessed to meet individual students' needs. Uh, this framework is nothing new. What is new is using technology to truly differentiate instruction automatically so that in the moment students are immediately uh, remediated with the skills and subjects that are most helpful for them at that time. So we use something called a knowledge graph, which is a connection of every concept in the course to its prerequisite skills, and we're monitoring the strength of those connections. When a student fails a topic in a Newton-powered course, he or she is remediated with all of that topic's prerequisite skills, prioritized on the strength of their relationships to the topic at hand. A teacher could do this as well, but it would be incredibly time-consuming for a teacher uh, to create a unique study plan for every student in his or her course. With Newton, we can do this automatically, actually generating real-time study plans. In order to be able to find the area of a right triangle, for example, a student needs to be able to multiply numbers. A knowledge graph describes those prerequisite skills that a student needs to know in order to understand and master um, a specific concept. But oftentimes students need skills from other domains in order to be able to do, uh, to understand and master the skills that they are studying. So for example, a student might be doing a math problem and if they're a word problem in math and if their reading skills aren't so great, they might struggle with that problem. Um, by creating knowledge graphs that span different domains, we can help identify the specific skills that students need um, in order to master the material, not just from that specific textbook or subject, but from other subject areas as well. Um, but teachers are often going to have more specific uh, goals for what they want their students to accomplish than that. And a way that we, we allow them to express that by creating goals within the system. Most simply, goals define what they want students to know and when. Ideally, you want students to be able to go as far back as they need to go uh, in order to find what's right for them to get them started down the path towards that goal. But at the same time, you have goals that are time sensitive, you have tests that are coming up, you have homeworks that are due. So by allowing teachers to define what students should accomplish and when, we're able to strike a balance between wanting to meet students where they are, wanting to move students towards their goal.